Matey and uh, welcome to the Blue Rock Gallery. Welcome to our show, The Spirit of the Sheep. It's a collaboration with Chris Hart and Linda Chow and myself and we had a wonderful time doing the show and it has actually ended up being quite a surprise for all of us because we hadn't seen each other's work. And the way I would explain the show is because we come from three different perspectives entirely, it would probably be more appealing to more people because we represent three completely different media. What happened was when we three decided we were going to work together, because there's two metalsmiths and I'm a painter, we didn't know how this would gel. For eight months we met and we just chatted and we didn't really plan much, we talked about ideas and we didn't really know how we would each represent it, but we agreed that I, because I was the painter, would create the atmosphere because they work a lot smaller. So I was going to try and represent the Sheep River the way I know the Sheep River and in many different faces, so many different climates, many different seasons, all different things, different perspectives. I live at the Sheep River, I hike in the river, I ski with the river, I drink the river's water. I love the Sheep River and we were all very aware of the river this year because of the flood. So I think it would be very interesting for a lot of people to come and see it because it, it shows the Sheep River as it is now but it also is a piece of history. We know how fast things can change in life and in nature. So this is the Sheep River as we see it now. I've been getting some feedback already about how wonderful it is uh, that they recognize these places that they've been and it's exciting for them because they're part of the show because they have a personal relationship with all these places. And I welcome people to come and just enjoy it for what their perspective on the sheep is. Hi, I'm Linda Chow and I am in this exhibition, The Spirit of the Sheep. I'm the goldsmith there and I made all the rings representing the different animals and different environment in this area. After the walk with Mady and with Chris Harris, we were sitting down talking about how we feel and how we see things there. And of course, Mady, it's totally her backyard. And with Chris Harris, she has been there for years and years. And actually, I was new to that area. So from there, we realized that if we come together, it will be a very diverse show because there are three, three totally different approach to the uh, subject. I went home and I looked into the, the ecology of the Sheep River and how it affects the, the community and this show is uh, all about that. I like doing things with my hands and from very very young I realized that I like small things. I tend to do miniatures and they all represent uh, animals and trees that are that are endangered and that we need to look after the area so these animals and plants can survive, can exist with us. I think getting the idea is most of the work doing it is just fun. I know my pieces are small and I want to engage the the viewer. I want them to get close and I would like them to have a little smile um, on their face when they see my pieces. If it is wearable then you can see it. It can be with you. What I would like for the visitor to come and, and see the show to recognize that we have a problem, a general problem with the ecosystem and I would like people to be very much aware of that. We have to do our part and that I would like people to take away from the show. Hello, I'm Chris Haas and I would like to invite you to come and visit our exhibition Spirit of the Sheep. It's unusual for a painter and a metalsmith and a goldsmith to have an exhibition together. We wanted it to be local and we wanted it to be where we all have been. And we wanted to pick something that even though people didn't live in the Sheep River Valley, they could take the information from our show and sort of communicate it to their local rivers and to their, their own environment and still have the same concerns and spiritual upliftings that we get from our own environment. Rivers always have a spiritual thing, whether it's in the winter or the summer, they're always very alive. They're sort of life-giving and uh, they need protecting. I've been making things since I was three years old. And eventually I took design courses and when I was 54 I went back to the art college to take a Bachelor of Fine Arts. And I just found that I like metal. It moves like clay, only it's a little harder to do. 
because it's all about surface texture, I like to alter the metal and then make something of it. It just has this inner depth to it. I often don't know exactly how the piece is going to turn out. I start on it, I have an idea how it's going to turn out, but it seems to change along the way. Often the end of a piece comes because now you seriously have to get this into the gallery right now. <laughs> and you know that if you go on, the piece is not going to be better. Oh, there's art in everything. People that decry art, they don't realize they pick up a pamphlet for their local pizza shop. It's been designed by an artist. I, I like people when they come to the show to be themselves. My only requirement is they look. I don't mind if they want to criticize it, that's fine. But I just want them to be interested in art and uh, embrace it. So there you have it in a nutshell. So come to the Blue Rock Gallery and come and see our fantastic show.